From 1850 to 1974, there's a huge increase in meat consumption all over the world. And then we doubled it from 74 to 2005, was doubled. And then it would have gone up the same kind of rate now. Bottom line is as a country gets richer, the meat intake rises. Same with the alcohol intake, by the way. Meat became trendy due to snobbery and marketing. You know, the rich people in town had meat, so we all want to eat meat and be like the rich people. And we're eating 500% more meat now than we were 100 years ago. 500%. And you look at all the disease like type 2 diabetes and heart disease and bowel cancer and breast cancer that are directly linked to meat. And again, can we see that there's some cause there? Absolutely. We can eat as much animal protein as we like now. That's the problem. Before, we used to have to only get it from the farmer who had one cow, and he killed it once a year, and then he'd sell you it really expensive. But now, of course, because of the mass farming, we can all afford it, and that's where the problems happen. So how's our health doing on all this animal protein? Not well at all. Not well at all. And here's the myth that falls out of that. Carbs are bad and make you fat. Have you heard this one? Yep, this is the biggest promoted myth that you'll hear today. This is the big one. Next to dairy products give you strong bones, which we're going to get into as well, right? But we're going to get to that, right? Carbs are bad and make you fat. Well, let's have a look. Carbohydrates are actually the most important food group for human beings, just like all primates. Our brains almost completely run on carbohydrates. And the best carbohydrates are what the centenarians eat, of course. Fruits, vegetables, nuts, seeds, whole grains, and legumes. That's the mixture. That's what the centenarians eat. 